Oh, this is where you go when you have a baby, the closet. It's actually kind of decent in here. Um, besides these uh, socks, there's a, there's a little armrest. You got the four walls. The sound is good. It's like a little meditation room. Anyway, Brene Brown talks about how relationships are not 50-50. And I agree with her and I want to piggyback off what she's saying. I want to talk about why they shouldn't be 50-50. So on paper, uh, of course, you know, two people, it is 50-50, meaning two people bring, you know, meet, meet each other halfway, right? Um, if a relationship is 80-20, uh, then it's lopsided. Yes, of course. But Brene Brown's point is it can't be 50-50 all the time. And I think that it shouldn't be 50-50 all the time because here's how it works. If your relationship is one person 50%, the other person 50%, which isn't realistic by the way, and um, if it's like that all the time, you're not creating a space for trust to be built. So let me explain. Usually because of life and because uh, we are going through our own winters and challenges and chapters, when we show up in a relationship, there's gonna be days that you know, you're, 20%, you know, there's gonna be days that you're 80%. There's gonna be days that your partner um, is 10% and, and you got to bring your 90. And it could sound unfair. But it's I mean, if, if, if that's consistent, right, if your um, partner is 10% every day uh, for a long period of time, then of course, then yes, your relationship is lopsided. But generally speaking, it's there's a dance, right? There's an ebb and flow. So there's gonna be days that you're 20 and your partner brings 80. There's gonna be days that your partner brings 20 and and you bring 80. It depending on what what the individual is going through. Now the value in this and the reason why I think this is a good thing and it should happen is because it allows trust. Can you hear that, my screaming baby? It allows trust to be built, right? It allows one person to come home when they don't have a lot and to have their partner um support them and champion their story and 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 go you know above above and beyond whatever that looks like whether it's dishes or bringing home dinner or uh an empathetic ear or whatever it is right um all of that it uh it builds trust because then then it's uh, it's about hitting the ball back right so then when your partner gives you 80% uh, the days that you only have 20. Um, there's going to be days where your partner only has 40 and you're going to have to step up and give 60. And this dance, right, this back and forth is what produces relationship glue. This dance is what produces trust. And I think that uh, when two people have this down, right, when two people um, are able to show up knowing that uh, their partner has their back as well as their front, Sorry. Um, then you 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 start to build this thing that is greater than the parts, right? The relationship, and you start to not only trust um, your partner, but you trust what you guys have built together, right? You are creating a space that is built on consistency, that is built on honesty, that is built on on um, I, you scratch my back, I scratch yours, right? Um, there's a giant we with the relationship instead of just I. And now you have two people who are going through life uh, individually, but also together and uh, hitting the ball back and forth, supporting each other, being there for each other. And this creates this engine where you then um, start to trust the, your partner. You start to depend in a healthy way on your partner, right? This is um, when home feels good. Uh, if two people are always 50-50, which, by the way, is not realistic um, because of life, but if they're always meeting each other halfway, it doesn't create that exercise of, I got you this time, you get me next time, and that kind of elasticity and the stretching of your heart and um, being there for someone, allowing someone to support you, to care about you. That practice only happens when relationships aren't 50-50 all the time. So relationships should be, relationships should not be 50-50. Um, it's impossible that they are. They, um, they fluctuate, right? Depending on where you're at, what you're going through, where you're at in your life, your journey. 
um, I think it's important that uh, you guys communicate, and this is why it's important, why, why it's important that you guys communicate where you're at and what you need. You know, I think we struggle with um, expressing what we need and then we expect the other to um, give us our need. And if he or she doesn't, then we have anger and resentment. We have to communicate. And by communicating, we're able to um, hit the ball back and forth without the ball going sideways or, you know, out of the, the ballpark or whatever. Those are fouls. Um, so communicate to keep the ball inside. You hit it back and forth and you create this engine um, where you build trust and now people are doing life together and that trust, that consistency creates a relationship glue.